Hello library supporters, Kate Azar here. I'm executive director of the Long Beach Public Library Foundation. And because our libraries are temporarily closed due to the city of Long Beach's Safer at Home Ordinance, I'm speaking to you from my home. Or more specifically, I'm speaking to you from my son's bedroom. So you may hear a baby in the background. Like many, our lives have been turned upside down during this period of physical distancing. My husband and I are trying to work from home while caring for our two young sons. While we desperately miss being able to check out physical books and attend story times at the library, we're grateful that we have access to an array of online free resources with our library cards. For example, the Libby app it has been wonderful and I'm currently listening to an audiobook, The Girl with All the Gifts by Emma Carey. And I felt that this post-apocalyptic novel seemed appropriate for this time. My husband appreciates being able to access the, L the New York Times for free with his library card. My sons are loving the library staff's YouTube story times. We have dance parties with music from the Freegal app. And we've made a Friday movie night tradition using Canopy. You can access all these resources by visiting lbpl.org and look for the banner, Your Library at Home. While we're aware that many families are struggling right now and that there are so many important nonprofits on the front lines of this crisis, we'd like you to know the library is here for you. Our libraries are putting out as many digital resources as they can to help families homeschool, sharpen their job skills, and stave off boredom. We also know that once libraries reopen, hundreds of people will flock to the libraries for assistance, getting their kids back on track at school, getting resume and job search help, and more. The libraries will play a critical role in reigniting the Long Beach economy. You may not know this, but many library programs are funded by the Library Foundation, like our family learning centers. That means that many of your friends and neighbors have made donations of all sizes from $5 or more to support these programs and make, the, make them accessible to everyone in our city. Now, we really need your help today to make sure we can continue to serve those who rely on our libraries most. So please, if you are able, I hope you will consider making a donation to the Library Foundation today. Any amount, $5 or more, makes a difference. And if you aren't able to contribute, we understand. We hope you will still enjoy the millions of fantastic free resources the Long Beach Public Library Foundation provides every day. We also invite you to join our Grief Expectations Stay at Home and Read event by visiting lbplfoundation.org. There you can see our friend Billie Jean King's brand new short film, watch a live concert, and bid on fine wine and jewelry and fun experiences and socialize with other library supporters. And I truly hope you will share a book selfie and tell us what you are reading. I wish you and your family health and happiness. Take care.